Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Client brought me this phone stand and wanted an engraving and a little saying here in the middle. And you'll see that you've got all kinds of different elements in this phone stand that you've got to uh, uh, stay away from. And so what I thought I'd do is talk a little bit about a quick and easy way to lay out this phone stand so you can be sure that the engraving that you put on this is gonna be exactly where it needs to be. Initially, you might look at this with all the cutouts and holes and those kind of things and might wonder, how in the world am I gonna lay this out so I can be sure that when I wanna put a design on this, it's gonna end up being where I want it. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you in Lightburn with just a series of simple rectangles to quickly lay this out and get it exactly where it needs to be. Uh, I work with a lot of people on things like this where initially when they look at this, they just can't comprehend on what they need to do in Lightburn to get it so it's easy to do on your laser. We'll be using user origin today. We're gonna to be doing some simple rectangle work. Um, if you don't have a camera, there's absolutely no reason you need one for something like this. And when I show you how simple it is to lay out in Lightburn, you're gonna be able to take care of these kind of projects with ease. So let's go ahead and go to Lightburn and we'll get this thing laid out. Before we get to Lightburn, I thought I'd illustrate it with some just some basic shapes. It might make a little more sense to everybody. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this and this phone stand back is 11 inches wide by eight inches tall. And so that's the first rectangle that we're gonna make in Lightburn is a rectangle that's 11 by eight. And that's gonna be the perimeter of our design. That's how we're gonna go ahead and when we frame it in the laser, we're gonna make sure that uh, it's all nice and square. And so that's the first rectangle that we're gonna do. Then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, make a series of three different rectangles one rectangle to kind of cover this because we know we can't have any design in this area. So what I would normally do is I would, I'm not really worried too much about the length, but I want to be sure I capture my width. So in this particular case, it's going to be two and a half inches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle in light burn that's two and a half inches wide and just down a little ways. Again, it doesn't matter how long it is because I just want to make sure that I'm centering my design here. I've got to stay away from this area as well, so I've got to go ahead and I'll measure that and make another rectangle, a smaller rectangle, and that's going to be about an inch and a half, we're going to say, inch and a quarter. And so this would be another rectangle that I'm going to make that's an inch and a quarter wide, don't care how long it is, and we're going to set that up there like that in light burn. And then this piece here, this is kind of where the design is going to go. And so what we want to do is we want to go from where this phone stand uh, back plugs in, uh, measure the height here and the width from the edge of this to this, and that is going to be our fourth rectangle. And if we would draw it and lay it in, that's pretty much how it's going to be. And what we want to do is we want to put that design right in the middle of this rectangle right here. And so we can design it, make it as big as the client wants it, and then when we center the design in this rectangle, along with all of our other design elements that we've built into our template, shall we say, I know for a fact that where that design is gonna go is gonna be perfectly lined up based on the things that we have to avoid. So I thought I'd just show this before we jumped into Lightburn on kind of my thinking on how I would lay something like this out. Let's go get it created in Lightburn. Okay, step one, we need to go ahead and lay out the uh, rectangle, which is the perimeter of the um, phone stand. And so if I select this, you can see that I've created a rectangle that's 11 inches wide by eight inches tall. So this is the perimeter of the entire phone stand that the customer provided. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna lay out these rectangles that, uh, that take into consideration the openings that are in the phone stand. And so I like to use two layers uh, if I can for that. So let's go ahead and turn on 
the tool layers for the three different rectangles that we're going to create. So in this particular case, I created one rectangle right here and it was two and a half inches wide. I don't care how long it is. I'm just trying to get a width. So I've got one tool layer here. I'll pop up a photo that illustrates uh, in the picture which area I'm talking about. I created one there. I came over here. I created another rectangle as a tool layer that's an inch and a quarter wide. Again, don't care how tall it is. I'm just trying to get the spacing from a width perspective. And then the third tool layer that I wanted to create is the probably the most important. This is where I'm going to center my graphic. And you'll see in the picture, this is basically where that the uh, where the back of that phone stand plugs in. There's a slit in the phone stand that's right here. And so from here to the top, uh, with filling in, this is the engravable area. And so what we'll what we will do is we will go ahead and do the design. So if I turn on my design here, and we've centered that design in this middle rectangle. Uh, the client and I have decided that a four inch by six inch uh, design would look good in this space. And so what I did is I also created another frame layer uh, that illustrates that four by six. And you can see that that is centered in the third rectangle. And uh, that's as simple as it is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to make sure that we are in user origin. I'm going to use the upper left hand corner. So basically when I'm putting this in the laser, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to uh, uh, make sure that my phone stand is in there and that the top edge of this is parallel with the gantry. So at least initially I'll leave this black layer on and use the frame button in Lightburn to get the piece set in the laser. And then what I'll do is I'll turn it off and uh, send the design to the laser. So the only thing that should be going will be this right here. Okay. And so that's where we're at. That's how easy it is. Let's jump over to the laser, get this thing laid out, get it engraved and see what she looks like. We've got our phone stand loaded. I've got my, we're in user origin. I've set my origin to be top left hand corner. I've run the head back and forth a couple of times to make sure I'm parallel. I believe I'm set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the black layer on in Lightburn and frame just the perimeter, just the outside portion, just to make sure that we're set up. So we're going to go ahead and frame that. And what I'm looking for is that red dot to be sure to follow basically the top and the bottom to make sure that the phone stand and the gantry is parallel and that looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on, I'm going to go ahead and send this file to the controller and then I'm going to frame it before I uh, pull the trigger on it just to make sure that it's, it, it's going to go where I expect it to. Okay, I've got the file loaded and uh, let's go ahead and frame the uh, design just to make sure it's going to go exactly where we think it should. So I'm going to hit the frame button. I've got the file loaded in the controller and I'm going to go ahead and hit the frame button on the controller. One more time. Yep, I think it looks like it's going to go exactly where we want it to. So I'll go ahead and close this up and we'll get it engraved. Okay, we got the engraving all done. Um, this particular customer wanted a fairly subtle design so I didn't darken up the engraving too awful much. And uh, you can see that we've got the same space here as we do here. And uh, it's equally spaced all the way around. I think the customer is gonna be happy with it. But as you can see, if we just take some different design elements and make rectangles kind of out of the area that we want to stay out of. You can do something like this with uh, little effort and you don't need a camera. I hope this information was helpful. If you do me a favor and if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 
I'm really hoping to get to 20,000 by the end of the year. And if you have the ability, hit that thanks button, contribute to the channel. Really appreciate you guys watching the videos. Have a super day.